Potatoes are the most loved and the most produced food on the planet. And to me, they're the ultimate comfort food. September's National Potato Month. So it's a great time to just kind of try new ways preparing potatoes. Today, I'm going to show you how to make Hasselback potatoes. Those are potatoes that are really, really thinly sliced. And when they bake, they fan out because they're attached at the bottom. I'll show you how easy it is to do. I've already washed my potato, no need to peel it. I'm going to take my sharp knife and let's see here, I wanna see how it sets. So I'm going to take just a little slice off the bottom of the potato to give it a flat side, just like that. And then I'm going to save this because I'm going to use it to bake the potato. Now I've tried slicing the potato, just kind of eyeing it with my knife, and it never fails. I go straight through and I wreck my Hasselback potato. So I've learned that I can take the handles of wooden spoons, or if you have chopsticks, chopsticks work really well too, and I just nestle my potato right in between the handles of my wooden spoons and I take my knife and when I slice you can see that the spoon handles stop my knife from going all the way through. Now remember that little piece that I cut off the bottom of the potato? I'm going to set it in the baking dish flat or cut side down and there will be that will form this little hump in my baking dish and I'm going to set my potato right on that because I found that when you do that it helps the potato fan out easily while it's baking. Now at this point you can brush some melted butter on it and try to get it in between the slices. I like to use a mixture of olive oil with some garlic powder and onion powder and a little bit of salt and pepper and then I brush it over the top generously and make sure that it's coated really well and then it's hard to get my brush in between the slices and you want to be sure that the inside of the slices are coated. So just take your clean finger and kind of rub each slice and then into the oven it goes for about an hour, 400 degrees and I usually check about halfway through and brush a little bit of my, my olive oil mixture over it and when you take it out of the oven, this is what it looks like. And I like to just take a little sprinkle of some fresh chopped parsley, if you happen to have some in your garden. If not, it's gonna be tasty without it. And there you have your baked Hasselback potato. I'm Sue Doden, sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.